And welcome back to What If Naruto Has on Bakuto, the Minazuki Exhibition. Uh, real quick, just to do the house clean. First off, you'll notice I am clean shaven. You'll notice in the next couple of videos that come out, I will not be clean shaven. That's because everything got uh, recorded out of order. Um, but um, anyway, uh, what, someone brought up the question of another way to start this is that uh, to get Naruto get his on Bakuto is that he awakens Shinigami powers during. Um, I think like the fox attack or something like that. And that's not what this uh, what if series is like. It's not what if Naruto awakened Shinigami powers because even if that is the way it went, he wouldn't be getting any he wouldn't be getting Minazuki or Zongetsu or anything like that. He'd be getting his own Zanpakuto because none of these are a reflection on him. They're a reflection of a user prior to him. Uh, he's just the one who's now using it. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. Let's get on to it. So we cut now to the beginning of, or basically to Naruto's uh, tra test, to the Team 7 test on the field. Uh, Naruto, obviously, he's he still, again, he always constantly has the dream. The dream of the hooded figure. Uh, but I think Naruto, at this point, has realized that this, who he might, he's starting to get an idea that this, he knows who this is. He doesn't quite have, have, his, have a finger on it yet, but he knows who this is, just can't figure it out. <clears throat> But anyway, he goes, he's he's there, uh, Kakashi's late, uh, and that, basically, most of this actually goes pretty down the same. You know, he insults Naruto, Naruto attacks him, tries to, uh, I think he goes over his kunai first, because Sword is not necessarily his first instinct yet, he's only been training with it for a few weeks, <clears throat> at best. So, uh, he goes for the kunai, gets stopped, they disappear, and Kakashi, you know, it's like, huh, well, they understand that point. They understand that well enough. They've hidden well. All right, fight me one-on-one. -on -one. You're a little different, aren't you? All right, weird, aren't you? The only thing weird here is your haircut. Uh, it's like, yeah, he just disappears again. <laughs> He's going for a kunai. Is he going for a weapon? Well, what are you waiting for? Eh, it's, what? Why are you reading that book? To find out what happens in the story, of course. But eh, don't worry about it. Uh, with your level of skill, you won't be able to hit, hurt me or whatever. I'm going to... I'm going to crush you. And at first, Naruto struggles. He, he does. Um, however, Naruto, I think, has gotten a little bit more clever because he not, he still uses a sword, obviously. Or he's using a sword. So he's learned to be a bit craftier and also using the sword. So at the minute that Kakashi is coming in for the secret ninja art, 1,000 years of death, Naruto actually just... And then actually, he still he ends up getting into the ground and barely... And he digs into the ground hard with the blade because the blade's just bigger than him. But he actually manages to get Kakashi to stop the attack. Be like, <laughs> and he's just like, Ugh, that's right. And Kakashi is like, that's right. I forgot. He, he got. He has been using. He has been training with a sword. And there's like, Ugh. it's like, yeah, I was hoping I wouldn't have to use this against you, Kakashi Sensei. But now you made me mad. And then all of a sudden, Shadow Clone Jutsu and a cut by. Five, ten Naruto's come out, and now they start coming at Kakashi. Now Kakashi obviously can still handle Naruto ultimately without too much difficulty, but Kakashi actually has to put effort in now because Naruto's wielding a blade, and as he mentally points out, uh, uh, I he only well, just got it, but he's actually very competent with this thing. And then you know he actually pulls out a kunai and be like, well, actually blocked the blade and just starts actually taking out the Naruto clones a little bit. Still, he's, he's more or less handling them without too much difficulty. And then Naruto, just as there's only a couple clones left, one of the clones sneaks up behind him. It's like, he got behind me! And then Naruto comes in, yeah, comes in with the blade and a fist. Yeah! Poof! And still ends up getting <laughs> strung up by, under, under the tree. Now, one big difference here, though, is that when Naruto uh, is strung up, you know, Kakashi's well, you know, braiding him, so he's not going to cut himself down immediately. Um, uh, Nar Kakashi uh, gets hit by Sasuke. He goes after Sasuke. He cuts himself down with the with the blade. Gets hit, uh, He gets um, uh, caught by the second one, but he cuts himself down because he's got the blade. Now, this means Naruto didn't notice the box lunches. So now his goal actually is to go and try to find Kakashi again. So he's, you know, he sheets his blade, he sheets Minazuki, and he doesn't know it's now, but it's Minazuki. And he goes, and he's running, he's trying to find where, where Kakashi is. He still hasn't actually realized what the Shadow Clone Jutsu can actually do. But, mm, um, <clears throat> excuse me. Oh, it's a little cotton throat there. Uh, but he, he's got a weird, he sends out clones anyway. 
And because he's basically just going to try to relay, you know, where the information and he goes. And he basically finds the very end, near the end result of, or sees the glowing bright fireball of uh, Sasuke reading the fireball jutsu and heads that way. Now, Sas Sakura at this point is still a fubar. She's still KO'd. <laughs> um, so, like, there's nothing she can do right now. So, uh, just as he does the uh, <clears throat> Earth style headhunter jutsu, you are. Uh, you are different than Naruto, and, uh, different, but different is always better, uh, better. They say the nail that, uh, sticks up, sticks up straight is the one that gets hammered down. And just as Kakashi is about to, uh, head out, he, or, uh, or leave, he actually just, because he, he can sense it, luckily, because he's not looking, he's just, oh! he just, as he sees Naruto, as the blade comes, he's like, uh oh, so you got out of my, uh, got out of that after all, did you, Naruto? And all of a sudden, more clones pop up. No, no, don't get me wrong. Naruto is hungry still. He's, they're all still extremely weakened by him, but scenario. And Naruto, Naruto's standing ground and, you know, he's got a couple clones. And he looks down, he's like, looks at Sasuke. And honestly, he's, uh, uh, he's uh, well, are you going to get me out of this or what? Mm. It's like, don't talk to me that way, idiot. You want, you want out or not? It's like, oh, come on. Oh, we'll just get it over with. It's like, <laughs> it's like looks like you needed my help after all. I was like, shut up. Uh, and Sasuke also just says, shut up and fight. <laughs> uh, I, I like that line. Sorry. I, I remember that line from um, Batman under the Red Hood where um, Red Hood's Jason Todd's just getting cornered by the fearsome hand of four. Or was it Peter Man of five? Whatever. The fearsome hand. And Batman shows shows up and um, yeah, Red Hood makes a comment. And Batman's just like, shut up and fight. <laughs> like Sasuke's just like, shut up and fight. And he just pulls out some kunai because he's to be on Paranardo. And Kakashi's actually... Well, they're actually, well, I'm actually impressed. And th now they're actually ganging up on Kakashi. And he's surprised, because hand to hand, Sasuke actually did pretty okay against Kakashi. Obviously, Kakashi was taking it easy on him, but he was doing okay. And Naruto's actually got to keep, is able to keep him at least somewhat of a distance with his sword. Add in a couple clones. That means they're actually giving him a decent little challenge. And Kakashi really has to be, uh, really has to be wary, particularly because. He's aware of how um, devious Naruto can be, given his prankster nature back in the village. And sure enough, he notices that Kakashi, or uh, Kakashi, uh, Naruto tries to cut, snip the uh, bells off. And he's like, whoa, no, you don't. Oh, clever, Naruto. You tried to, you weren't trying to cut me. You're trying to cut the bells. He's like, damn it, I almost had him. Uh, no. Not bad. Sasuke, you got another fireball in you? It's like, I got, I maybe, I think I can do at least another one. Why? I've got an idea. All right, get ready. And, Naruto, Sasuke! It's like, ah, it's like, I, I, I found you! It's like, it's like oh, Sasuke, Sakura, that's great, but we're just about to, and then the bell rings, and, and then you say, oh, that's unfortunate, isn't it? You guys were actually doing pretty well there for a little while. Uh, as a, oh, well, that's too bad. Sakura's just, you know, like, oh, we should, uh, because she'd rather just go back to the academy and stay with Sasuke. At least at this point in her, in her uh, time. So, this actually kind of, <laughs> I think I've done Sakura tied to the tree post once, but, uh, training post once, but, shh, screw it. Yeah, Sakura gets tied to the training bus because Sasuke and Naruto actually were able to cooperate and work together. So she was the only one who proved completely useless. Although, to be fair, she's the only one who complete, proved completely useless in the first one because she's the first original version of this because she didn't do anything. Sasuke and Naruto at least tried. Um, but yeah, and he explains how um, how neither of them are going to... How basically none of them are going to pass. Although this is about... The, the test is it's still a test obviously and he's definitely got more hope for them than he did his other team because he actually saw them work together for a change uh <clears throat> so you know he um they they explain he explains everything naruto points a uh, nar he points out the kia stone the memorial stone uh and they go over the whole sad sad part <laughs> um the names of my closest friends are buried here yeah uh, that was a, that, I've always loved Kakashi's character because he's been through, he's only in his twenties, by the way, in Naruto. I think he's like 26 and 29 in Shippuden. Uh, they say, call him an old man. It's like, no, he's only 29. God. Anyway. Um, but yeah, for a guy who's been only in, in his uh, late mid to late twenties, he's been through shit. <laughs> the name, 
You know, uh, this is a memorial stone. The names of my closest friends have been here. It's like, maybe if I killed everyone you'd love, you know a little bit about it. You're like, well, it's an interesting theory, but you're a little late to test it out. And just, I love that fact he says it with a smile. <laughs> to everyone you're talking about has already been killed <laughs> or is already dead. Um, but anyway, so that happens. Arto feels bad. And he's busy. I'm only going to give you three hours. Eat now to reserve to conserve strength. But Sakura, you don't get any food. It's your punishment for really not participating at all in the, in the exercise. And so, you know, they're eating. And Naruto, I do think, is the one who offers his food. He says, are you sure you don't want some Sakura? Um, so, and she's like, we can't, you can't. We'll get in trouble from, from Kakashi Sensei. And then Sasuke offers her some food. And, and I was like, yeah, we, we have to, uh, this hurts the team if we don't... Um, uh, if we don't do it, you know, we got to get him at him as a team and that hurts the team if she's ineffective. Uh, and she takes the from Sasuke, obviously, and it's like, you, you broke the rules. I hope you're ready for the consequences. And so you know, the three of us are one. The three of you are one. That's your excuse. You pass. <laughs> you pass. <laughs> uh, then the ninja world, those who uh, don't, uh, those who abandon the rules, are scum. This is true, but those who abandon their friends are worse than scum. Uh, and so, he's kind of cool. And so, yeah. And luckily, Narch is smart enough to just cut her off, cut her uh, bind. So, really, not much has changed at this point. They do the Lost Katara mission. They've, Naruto has been practicing more and more with his blade. That is one thing that has been happening more. He's been training more in sword styles, arts. Uh, he's actually probably even fit, because we don't know how long they had been getting to that point. I think it's at least been a month. Uh, they had done a good significant amount of D-rank missions. And Naruto, uh, so Naruto probably had finished that basic scroll that uh, the third had given him. He even probably asked for a more advanced one. To which the third probably complied. I mean, it's it, uh, the third probably prepared for this. Uh, unfortunately, you know, Hayate is too busy doing, because I, mean, I think it's probably an Anbu regularly. Um, or at least a Joni who goes out in the mission and does missions a lot of time. Though he has that chronic cough, which sucks. <clears throat> But um, see, he's still giving more, a more advanced scroll. And at this point, Naruto is really progressing fast with his sword study. I mean, he's now very high getting to low tuning. Easy. Now, like, probably low tuning closer to. He has no sets, real sets now. He's going through the motions, but he knows how to adapt on the fly, which is very convenient. So, again, they go, and they capture, bring Tora back, and, you know, we have peeling the potatoes, getting groceries, or, uh, and say, no, I want an edge mission! So, there's obviously the breaking point. Uh, he's got a point, but does he have to be so annoying about it? And he explains how the mission's working, and finally they give him the bridge bill of mission. Ah, uh, what's this now? What? These... It's just a bunch of brats, and that the, the short one with the, the stupid look on his face. These kids are supposed to protect me. Uh, who's the short one with a huh? <laughs> I'll demolish you, and that happens. I'm Tazana, master bridge builder, and I must get back to my bridge. So they go out. They're like, yeah, a first time out, and they pass the Demon Brothers. Sadly, Naruto still freezes. Nothing about Naruto's changed that where he doesn't freeze. I think. Uh, because unlike in the uh, the last Zanpakuto edition, where he's actually had a lot of conversations with Ichimanji and has been able to kind of keep himself a bit more, um, kind of prepare himself mentally, Minazuki is a very aloof character in this version. And so he hasn't really had any time to adjust. So still freezes, still goes down the same, uh, he still gets cut, uh, still lets out the blood. Uh, really cool how you let out the poison and stuff like that. But if you lose any more blood, you're going to die. Really good idea to stop the bleeding now. Seriously. <laughs> anyway. And so they head across the bridge. Obviously, Zabuza shows up. Manji Formation. And, and now Naruto with the Manji Formation, he probably, probably practiced it where he takes out his sword as well as using the kunai. I think for this, he did just uses the kunai. Kakashi and Zabuza duke it out for a little bit. And then obviously then Zabuza shows up with the clone. And he uh, nails Naruto right in the head, taking his hair, headband. And then Naruto, you know, rushes at him, just, ah, and takes his headband, and says, like, you, the freak with no eyebrows, <laughs> uh, put this in your bingo book. The ninja will become Okage of the Leaf. He never gives up. His name is Naruto Uzumaki. Uh, and so, uh, and so, you know, Zabuza's getting ready to move. He's like, no, no, you don't. Shadow clone jutsu! And all of them have their blades like, oh, shadow clones, and there's quite a few of them. And he sees the sword, and he's like, Oh, you call, think yourself, 
You fancy yourself a swordsman, hmm, brat? Let's see, let's see if you can back uh, back that up. And he goes like, ah! And they come at him. And immediately, he's actually a little impressed. He's like, hmm, the kid's got some talent, but still, <laughs> and just smashes through them. Again, you do the Shadow Clone Shuriken Jutsu. Uh, and Shadow, Shadow Clone, yeah, just not Shadow Clone Jutsu. Show the Shadow Shuriken Jutsu. That's what that was. And Naruto comes in, throws the kunai, and that's all well and done. So you get Hak you get Kakashi, and again, you'll notice I'm kind of speeding through a little bit, but that's because nothing dramatic has changed. Naruto, nothing because he hasn't because this sword that most swords uh, Zanpakuto don't have abilities in a sealed form. Ichimaji was a very rare exception to that. Um, it, until Naruto actually learns the name of his Zanpakuto, it only the only thing that changes is Naruto wields a blade. It maybe interacts with the spirit who can bolster his confidence a little bit. Anyway, so Haku takes Zabuza, Kakashi collapses, they make it to Taz in this house, and they have the interaction with Inari, and then we get into the training. Now, Naruto still goes through this chakra training, because that's something he hasn't really trained in very much. However, without knowing it, I think he has been, his chakra control's been getting a little better because of the amount of shadow clones he's been using and training with. Uh, this allows him to, I think, be a little bit more effective with the tree climbing exercise, but to not any extent that would change his interaction with Sasuke in this endeavor. Um, sorry, I got a nose here that was sticking out. <laughs> anyway, grooming, self-grooming, always important. Um, so apart from that, when he basically gets the tree climbing exercise down, he still ends up practicing with Minazuki. And when he passes out in the forest, that's when he has the dream again. And this time, Naruto's like, who are you? This isn't a dream, is it? We're back. In we always come back to the same place. And the fox is always there. So, <laughs> You're, you're so blasted slow, Pratt, with your mind. And it's like, I get that. No, I, it's like, Naruto's like, a surprise. It's like, no, I figured that out. You, you, uh, you showed up the night, the night of, the night of the uh, Mizuki sensei, didn't you? Uh, and, and didn't you? And it's like, and he's just looking at him. And Naruto can't see his face or anything, but he can tell it's looking at him. <clears throat> and Naruto finally touches his blade. Are you? are you and then it just it all it does is just nod and say who are you what is your name <clears throat> and then at what and uh it tries and all he hears is he, he all he hears is uki uh, uh uki <laughs> which no that's something very different um uh, he hears like a vague like He's like almost like a whisper, and he can't. He just can't hear the name. Surprisingly, Minazuki and Minazuki's actually saying it like at normal volume. That anyway, it sounds it's like a hoarse whisper, but he. It's, but normally you should be able to hear it. Naruto can't hear it yet, though he can hear just a very slight bit, bit of it. And again, Minazuki asked the question, "Why do you wield the blade? Is it why do I? You want it? Why do I wield this sword?" Well, I I found it, and it's and I hope to, and I hope to become Okage, and just looks at why do you wish to, why do you wish to become Okage? Surprisingly, being a lot more coherent and actually having a conversation, as it well, some people respect me, look up to me, and just uh, and just looks at Naruto, like you're not not ready. <laughs> just, wait, come back. Uh, you have you have a visitor, <laughs> and then just ah. And Haku's like, well, you'll catch cold. He's like, ah! Like, what, are you okay? Uh, yeah, sorry about that. And they had their interaction. By the way, I noticed that headband and your sword. Are you a ninja or something? I was like, oh, no, I'm a ninja. I just happened to wield the sword. That's all. Uh, and uh, oh, are you uh, you must be very skilled with that. I, I'm, I'm getting, I'm learning. That's for certain. I'm pretty good with it right now, but I can always get better. Uh, and so when I believe, with, and then they have their whole ideology of something to protect. And so we cut now to the scene on the bridge. Naruto obviously takes care of the bandits. We cut immediately to the scene where Sasuke um, is in the uh, the Crystal Ice Mirrors, the Crystal Ice Mirror Dome. And Naruto comes in, hits with the kunai, and then he takes out the blade and gets ready to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Haku. Sasuke tries to, to throw the kunai at him. He's like, I haven't forgotten you. Not for a moment. Sorry, Naruto, but our fight must wait. I said fart. <laughs> Our fight must wait. And still, Naruto is Naruto. He sneaks in. Sasuke, I snuck in. Like, Naruto, you idiot. If I'm out here, then forget it. And so Haku keeps throw, throws the uh, the needles. Now, 
he throws the needles, but he, uh, the Sembone, but Naruto, because he has a blade, is at least able to block a portion of them. Not a lot of them. It's not like just, not Ichigo blocking Zenbone Sakura here, where he can block literally every petal. But Naruto's actually able to, thanks to, you know, learning some an actual sword form and his own practition of it and learning from it, he's doing kind of like an arcing kind of motion to block a portion of it and using the flat of the blade to help. But it's still, he's getting tagged. Sasuke's getting tagged. Naruto uses his claw and brings up the sword. And he's able to actually nick one of the mirrors. Not damage it very badly, but still nick it. And it does regenerate after that. Um... Uh, that was close, Naruto. You got it close to your blade, but it's not enough. You see, um, sorry, I, I think I had some gas there. Uh, you see, um, <clears throat> uh, whew. I think I'm okay. Yeah, that just felt weird. That was, that was a weird gas pain right there. Um, you see, Naruto, the bl uh, you see, Naruto, I'm not gonna let you get, to, um, get to, uh, I just lost my train of thought there. Uh, you see, Naruto, even if you were to damage uh, this, these mirrors, as long as there's moisture in the air, I'll be able to regenerate them again. I'll be able to re regenerate them. And so, Naruto, uh, you know, Naruto and Sasuke are struggling to do it, but Sasuke's quickly adapting and getting his shouting gun. So, he is, uh, he ultimately does get his shouting gun, his eyes, and because of that, I won't be, uh, his eyes... Uh, he's able to follow my eyes, which means I won't be able to fight much longer. And so, Naruto, who is injured at this point, is targeted. But with the Senbones and Sasuke obviously comes in and um, takes the shot. And is it, no, why'd you do that? I don't know. My body just moved. And he's still out there. My brother, and they had the moment. Now, this, this is the important thing. The, the Kurama's chakra starts to seep into Naruto and starts to kind of come out and bubble. And the red ore is starting to form. But as it is, Naruto once again hears the name, hears the voice. And that's not the blade this time. It's, why do you wield me? And, you know, Naruto's like, why is it to become a cock? And Naruto, it's, it's, he's struggling to say, I just want to, I just want to protect the things I, I, I don't want to protect the things that are close to me. Protect the people that are close to me. I want to, I got to save him. I, I it just, I have to be able to protect him. Protect him. Because I, please, I just want to be able to save him. And the, and the and the Kurama chakra aura is starting to is starting to bubble a little bit more. Not the one tail, mind you, but the, the red is starting to come out. But it's starting to subside too. It's like, and then and then all of a sudden he just uh, all of a sudden he just hears the hears the hears something in his head, and he just now Kenpachi's knows Arashi. If you want to read the translations, it's either swallow or drink is the release command. It most have now gone with drink. Uh, I like swallow though, so. All, all of a sudden, just as uh, Kaku is uh, uh, done talking, just like, it's the first time you've seen a comrade die before. That, and then Naruto's just like, uh, just uh, swallow. Minazuki. And all of a sudden, without warning, they hear the boom, the giant boof of, you know, the sound of a release. And the every, and Haku has to book it out of the mirrors as boom, all the mirrors just get pushed back and just destroyed. As this appears, just standing on the bridge, it sounds like a whale in the uh, in the anime. Uh, Naruto's on top of it, and Naruto's like, "Where's Sasuke?" It's like, oh, and surprisingly, he can communicate. I'd imagine he can communicate with Mizuki like mentally. And like, he is inside. He's inside me. My ability is to. And he explains that my ability. This is the first time using me, but my ability. Allows, uh, my stomach contains many uh, acids and ointments that are used for healing. Uh, and all of a sudden, Naruto, who still has a little bit of the Karama's chakra, is just like, is he going to be okay? It's close, but he he'll be he'll be fine. Uh, and then, you know, Haku is like, what? What is that? A summoning jutsu? It's like, what is that? No, can't be Naruto. And he sees the blade is gone. Like, wait, here's his sword. No, it couldn't be. The third did say that sword it was special. I said, like, "What is this thing?" And then, uh, unfortunately, uh, unfortunately, the downside is I, I have many abilities, Naruto. Uh, I can be used for travel, for healing, uh, in, and even and even in some cases for you know uh, for surprise attack. But unfortunately, I lack any true offensive abilities. 
Uh, however, that does not. It, however, I I will protect. Uh, I will protect the, uh, your friend. Would you, or I'm not using the voice, but it, it, I don't think in this case the voice matters. I'll protect. I will protect your friend as long as you need me to. Uh, yeah, it's like, get him out of here, Minazuki. I got this. Take the take these. And Nar Mizuki spits out the sun bone from Sasuke's body. Just, and Naruto, who's still got a little bit of Karama's chakra in him, it's like, now just a tinge of red and his eyes are red. Just comes in and just throws him back at Haku, who has to block and dodge, but Naruto comes in and just, boom, cracks him as he does. Just puts him into the ground. It just, uh, and basically, Minazuki flies Sasuke's body to the other side of the bridge. And, you know, is working on healing him. And basically, he's actually guarding the bridge, too. Like, he's, he's still a big, bulky creature. So, it can be used as a uh, as a block, as a stopper. Uh, Naruto and Haku ultimately have their conversation uh, about, uh, about, you know, being a tool in the ninja world. About being happy and about taking revenge for his friend. However, Naruto points out, you didn't kill, sorry, but you didn't kill Sasuke. You didn't succeed. He's busy being healed right now inside Minazuki. Minazuki, is that the name of your summoning? Uh, not, that's not, you know, it's the name of my store. It's like, what? Don't, don't worry about it. Well, uh, and so they have a converse, the conversation. And Naruto isn't going to, just says like, no, I'm not going to do it. Please, Naruto, kill me. It's like, no, I'm not going to do it. There's, you, yeah, you found someone who cared about you. That doesn't mean you have to just give up your life life for that person you can always find more meaning you don't have to give up just because you've lost something and he even says like if you think i you may have, you've lost everything at least you knew your mother i've i lost everything before i was even born and haku does you know kind of lament on that like yeah i get and it's terrible but you know what you can find other purposes and just as <clears throat> just as you know kakashi's about to uh, you know, take out Zabza. Haku still steps in, I think, and just poof, takes the gut shot. How out now? The question here is, uh, and Naruto's like, Minazuki, help him! And Minazuki comes and tries sw and swallows up Haku, just in terms of, <clears throat> Unfortunately, Minazuki has to realize, because unlike with a Shinigami, who, a perfect example of the kind of, like, hits a Shinigami can take and keep ticking, Shunsui took a giant coal to the foot, to the shoulder, to the midsection. His guts were actually out. He was, and, the, and a few other hits. And really, he had to, and all, he was tired, and he was in pain, and he was hurt. But he survived that. In fact, he was, pretty, he was actually more willing to go out and continue the fight after that. But then he, you know, fell down. <laughs> it's like, nope, I guess I have to rest. Uh, so, yeah, unlike that, she's, Haku still got a, she, he, uh, still got a, um, a, ch a hand through the chest, so, unfortunately, and it was pretty clear that it was most likely in the heart, so it was pretty clear that Haku was dead pretty, um, uh, pretty quick, uh, died pretty quick. Uh, he lived for a little bit, but it was pretty clear he died <laughs> a quick death. Um... And so, even though Naruto tries, he can't save uh, Minazuki, sadly. Or he can't save Haku, sadly. Um, just be just because of the severity of where the injury was. If, if, for instance, if this was, like, Choji or Neji, who wasn't, like, immediately dead, there might have been, there could be hope. But this was one of those cases where he died within seconds after getting hit by Kakashi. So, yeah. Um, and then, obviously, the, he takes those up his arms. Um... Uh, <clears throat> You have Gato coming up, out, Naruto, you know, berating Zabuza, and then and, and him taking out the guards, him getting taken down, taking out Gato, and then basically the same scene on the bridge where everyone's, like, th threatening them, except this time Minazuki's also there as this looming one-eyed manta ray monster. It's like, ah! <laughs> And then, you know, he returns, he spits out Sasuke, <laughs> Oh, what happened? Oh God, I feel so weird. It's like sorry about that. <laughs> Minaz Minazuki here was able to, but Minazuki was able to keep you alive. It's like what? Minazuki, what the heck is that? Oh, you can return now, Minazuki. Thanks, thank you. And so Minazuki just and then just returns. Like, wait, that, is that your? Is that in our soccer team? Like, is that your sword? It's like yeah, Minazuki has a really cool power uh, ability, huh? It certainly does. <laughs> and so they all. Uh, 
they all uh, get ready to leave. And as they're leaving the bridge, and then Sakura kind of breaks. That was a private conversation. It's like, you guys, we could just use a ride on Minazuki into the uh, near the village if we don't want to, you know, walk all the way. And you know, they're actually like, well, if you well, I wouldn't, we wouldn't want to impose Naruto. I was actually wondering about that. And seeing as we did see a play, I was like, sure, it's okay. It's all far away by you, Minazuki. Come on out. It's like, swallow. And then, you know, Minazuki comes out and they fly a Minazuki. It's like, oh, thanks, Minazuki. <laughs> and then they fly off into the sunset. So that's where we're leaving part two. We've already gotten pretty far into this what if. This, this particular what if, how long did the Ichibei one go for? I want to say it was... Hmm... That's a good question. I want to say it was about like 9 to 12 parts. Is that about right? I want to say maybe, maybe a couple parts. Uh, let's see here now. How long did the, Minizu uh, the, the Ichibei one go for? Let's find out today on Jeopardy. Uh, 14 parts. Hmm. I'm just thinking how long this one's going to go for. Uh, it's a fair question, honestly. Uh, if I were to... If I were to guess how many parts we're going to be at, because we're at part two right now, we're already going into the tuning exams. Tuning exams are going to take a couple parts at least, because now Naruto has Minazuki released, is going to change things up drastically. Uh, or, you know, at least knows the first release of music. It's going to change a lot of things. I will say, though, that because Ichimanji already had an ability prior, I don't know if ha if Minazuki's going to go, like, 14 parts. Probably going from 8 to 10 is my guess. But that's just my guess. We'll find out later. Until then, though, thanks for watching. <clears throat> Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe. As always, if you want us to review something, put in the comments below. Let us know. We'll do a review of it at some point. Hit that bell if you want to be notified. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.